Today, we're previewing the Hepatology Associates course, and I am joined by Dr. Yatako and Cindy Solomon, and welcome to the show. Thank, Thank you. you. So, Cindy, I wanted to get an idea, what's the purpose of the Hepatology Associates course? Why is it important? It's important because it highlights um, a wide range of evidence-based practice, um, from research to medical knowledge, and putting it out there for, pay for providers to be able to provide um, evidence-based practice to their patients and provide quality care, making it efficient um, and effective management of difficult patient populations. Dr. Yotako, how, how has the new hepatitis C uh, treatments impacted patient care? It has impacted quite a bit uh, since the first DEA came in the market around 2011. New medications have come almost every year. Uh, even difficult patients, now we can treat patients that are, have chronic kidney disease or has cirrhosis and even decompensated cirrhosis we can consider treatment. And there are many, many, many options at this time and uh, I think that our um, the people who is coming to our course are going to be able to uh, learn a little bit of what's new, what they can use, what options they have. So, uh, Cindy, what are some of the complications and challenges that hepatology associates you know, face every day with regard to liver patients? Um, the associate membership tends to follow the patients that are very complex. They need management in a variety of areas, all the way from ascites and edema through hepatic encephalopathy, hepatocellular carcinoma. So it's a very wide range. Besides treating hepatitis C, um, it's a, it's a long-term management of a patient, even through transplant. So what are some of the dietary impacts of liver disease that you'll be looking at during this course? Well, we're trying to up to date how important nutrition is in our patients. Our patients with liver disease are very complex. Uh, they have many reasons to be malnourished. There is uh, some uh, old, let's say, um, belief, for example, that there has to be protein restrictions because of encephalopathy. So. We, we want to make sure they have up-to-date the nutritional recommendations, supplements that they can use, uh, and avoid the malnutrition and the sarcopenia, which is a very, very common complication in these patients and can impact their um, transplant if these, these patients go to transplant or their quality of life as well. Well, let me ask you, how can this session better prepare associates for making decisions about difficult patients like, you know, end-stage liver disease? Right. Well. Because of the information that's going to be presented, they will be up to date with the current evidence-based practice and be able to provide the best, most effective care to their patients, which in turn will improve their patient's quality of life, improve outcomes, decrease hospitalizations. But really the main goal is the patient, making sure the patient is taken care of and providing the most optimal care, you have to be informed. Well, it sounds like it's going to be an exciting session. Thank you both so much for joining us today. Thank, Thank you. you.